A brief look at the repaired Sentinel cabinet and using Caden Live. Uh, good evening, YouTube. Here at uh, on Tuesday evening at uh, 8:02 now in the evening, I have uh, a final look. Uh, not really a final look. It. I'll bring it back once again after I get the uh, resistor. But I had uh, my granddaughter Lexi, and that's uh, one of the reasons uh, I've been kind of not quiet, but uh, um, you know, not saying about what's going on. She's living with me for at least for temporarily, and uh, so. Uh, but anyway, she took went to Walmart with me, and I was looking for something to match the color of this uh, radio, this Sentinel. And uh, she came up with this. It was a uh, marker pen, I guess, a permanent, a painter's, uh, whatever. And it says white, black, blanco. Not really sure what that means. Uh, I thought the tint, the tint of it is this here, which is that color uh, in the uh, on the radio. Pretty darn close. Anyway, I want to show you a close-up. It does look really good compared to the way it did look, so I wanted to do that. And uh, also, this is going to be edited with uh, Caden Live. And uh, for those of you who are using uh, VideoPad, I uh, I have, like I said, stopped using the free version, and I've switched to the Caden Live because I'm not uh, I'm not happy about the the way that was done. And I may post a picture of the uh, forum entry that I made on the uh, video pad forum stating that. And like I said, it's just a bad situation to me. I just, I never realized that that was the case. And uh, so, you know, it is what it is, I understand. But uh, at the same time, you know, I don't have to use it anymore. And I told them that also that after the paid uh, version runs out, whether, you know, because it's only good for so many or so long a time before you have to pay for it again to get updates, and that's, that I don't like that either. Uh, you buy a piece of software, it should be able to upgrade for life. It's just si simple. I mean, it's just easy to understand that. Um, anyway, um, I want to show you this picture or show you this radio, and uh, like I say, that's about it. So let's let's get to that and take a look at it. It looks good. Okay, it's actually a little difficult for me. I think this is one spot right here that uh, was touched up, I think. There was a, a lighter, a larger space down here. Oh, I can see it now. After you hold it up a certain way. Now, if you hold it down like that, you don't even see it. But if you hold it up like this, it uh, shows up right here. Go up a little bit like that. Right there. But uh, like I say, when you hold it down like that, you don't even notice it. So I'm happy with that. That's uh, She was worried about it. Didn't think it looked that good, but I think it looks nice. So I'm happy with that. That uh, covers up the uh, spots real nice. And uh, again, it's nice looking. So happy about that, and uh, I'm, I need to change that. I, I probably won't do it until I get the resistor then, but I need to change that uh, bulb for a 44. Bob says the uh, schematic calls for a 44, and that's uh, dial light, so uh, that's probably what I'll put back in there. I have both the 47 and a 44, so and I did have a 44 in there, and it didn't. I didn't see it flash with that, so maybe that was the reason. I don't know. We will see, I guess. But uh, for now, like I said, this is about it. I just wanted to point out the uh, how nice it looked now. It does look a good bit different. So, with no, no chips in it. But again, this is the stuff. And I don't really... I got it at Walmart. Painters, uh, not really sure. But this white Blanco... Blank, Blanco... And then this says... Uh, fine. Oh, that says fine. It's fine tipped. So I'm not really sure why it would color that the same color, but it did. Hmm. 
That's weird. Oh well. No problem. Looks good. That's going to do me. You guys have a wonderful evening. Uh, this won't be posted till tomorrow. Again, I'm, I'm not going to... I'm going to try to use uh, Caden Live to do this, and I want to try to recreate my uh, intro. And the outro is just a, a recording, or not a recording, but a video of the uh, outro. It's not hard to do. I, I may even do a video of the intro and just uh, try to uh, uh, mimic the uh, audio at the beginning where I tell what's happening on this video. Uh, that's another thing. I haven't found that that option to do that on uh, Caden Live yet, but I think there is a way to do it. So we will see, and I will report to you tomorrow, maybe, on how that's done. So you guys have a wonderful evening. Thanks for watching, and we will see you.